everybody, welcome back. Um, been a while, I know, but uh, finally got the opportunity to um, to work on uh, this little journal that I made. This is a design team project for uh, my porch prints on Etsy. And I had made one of these little um, ring-bound journals. Uh, it's been a couple of months back, and I knew I wanted to go back and, um, and make another one because I do enjoy, you know, mixing my journal making up a bit. So this was fun. Um, let's get started. Uh, the kits that I used in this, there's several kits in here, so I'm going to just list each of those in the description box below. But let's just get started um, with the front here. It's um, this sweet little vintage girl. I um, have been wanting to get back to the vintage uh, style journals for a while and this coordinated really nicely with um, Stephanie's got some shabby uh, ledger, uh, shabby rose ledger uh, papers, and they are absolutely gorgeous. So <clears throat> I just built upon that with some various um, trims, laces from my stash, and I'll just show you the back here. This is um, one of the pages from that uh, paper collection, isn't it? Gorgeous. So it's the rings have been aged, um, so they're not the shiny silver, which is nice. And then this is the little hitch post, um, Tim Holtz hitch post. So going inside here, um, on the front here, I've just made a little tag with some more of the papers. I love these papers. They are absolutely gorgeous. Very vintage, um, lots of roses in them, and I love that. And then here I just did a little... Um, cluster with an old um, mother of pearl button. So within the journal I've created the little um, you know writing journal in here so I've just tucked in I made a couple of little pockets here and just tucked in some tags and uh, journal cards. So even though <clears throat> It's a ring-bound journal. There still is a lot of writing space because you've got all the tags and um, journal cards that I've included. And then I just, I kept the writing papers very simple, um, just all coffee-dyed papers. Um, but still, as I said, there's a lot of writing space within. And then this uh, flips over, so you could add something here if you wanted, but it was quite chunky, so I didn't want to do too... Um, too much in there. And then on this I've created another little uh, pocket and then it attached some uh, trim that was gifted to me from Andrea. So thank you Andrea. And then on this side um, just made another little uh, pocket there out of some extra papers and then this little tag and then that's a stamped uh, journal card I've made and then just a plain tag. Those are tucked in. Little bronze uh, clips. I've got two of those in here. This is another of the elements. <clears throat> this is a, a stuffed envelope from my porch print. So I've just added, I've reinforced it and added some eyelets and then inside I've just tucked various. Isn't that beautiful? She, you, um, Within this, <clears throat> you get all of the ephemera to go with it. And so I've just taken various bits of ephemera. And so you've got all these little places to journal. And then little pockets here. And this is another um, kit that uh, Stephanie's got. And the, they're the uh, rose um, wheels and I love those. Those are so pretty. I'll show you. I've got another one in here that I use. And then another little um, just a tiny tag here and then some more writing paper. Um, so lots of little notebooks I've tucked away and as I said with all the journaling cards and tags there actually is a lot of writing space in this. So on the back here, I've made um, another tag, 
and then just various things in a button stitch to that. And that tucks in and then that flips over. So I thought, well, you could do some writing here and then this will flip over and you could you could do a bit more writing there. And this is another one of the big um, rows. I forgot what these were called. Um, you know, when we were a kid, they used to have these at that little machine. But anyways, I've um, you get, I think, six of the large and six of the small, but I could be wrong on that, but you can check um, in the shop. But aren't these gorgeous? So I just had um, attached a little eyelet so that would flip over. I like it just being a different shape to everything else. And then here, um, this is a, one of those old newsprint bags, um, but this is a real uh, French receipt. This is not a copy. This is uh, something I picked up a while back at a um, flea market here. So this is genuine and I absolutely love the writing on that. And then this is one of the little ephemera bits from my porch print. So that's tucked inside there. And as I said, um, and then on this side I've just tucked in a couple more uh, journal cards from my stash that I thought coordinated really nicely with it. And then this flips over and again I've got more little journal cards. Ah, oh, how does this keep happening? <laughs> I was certain it's just this one's... I'll have to work on that. I don't know why that's Oh, I'll come back to that. Okay, so this is a postcard when I get it out, and then just a little um, mini Rolodex card. I must stop putting things in the pocket when those are still um, wet with glue. So just other little bits and pieces, and then I added this little vintage finds and then the butterfly to it, and that's on some old trim there. Here I've just made a little, another little journal card, and then I cut out these little tags and cut them down just to make that into a tab. I think that's really sweet. And that's the image from those uh, shabby ledger, I think it's shabby rose ledger paper collection she's got and they are just beautiful. I would definitely be uh, using those again in a future, future journals. Another old mother of pearl button and then a couple more journal cards that's been tucked in the back here. Okay, and this is another um, kit you can get from Stephanie's shop, and this is the um, little altered guest check uh, pocket, and isn't that beautiful, the image on that? And then you get the little tag that goes inside, and I've just added a couple more um, pieces of ephemera that go along nice with that. So. Uh, several kits, as I said, that I've used in here. And then back here, I just took another. This, I believe, this was part of her ephemera pack she's got. Um, so there may be four. There may be four kits that I've combined within this. This was an extra piece of um, scrap cardstock I had that I just went ahead and added a little pearl and a tag, so you can make another little bit of journaling. You can journal on the back of this and then another tiny journal card. So over here I've had this little flip out and another journal card tucked in there and then this is just an altered glassine bag that I've added some paper to, um, a bit of ribbon and then this is another of isn't that a beautiful element from the um the kit so that flips back over and then inside here we've got two more pockets and then another journal so you can see there is a lot this is old um writing paper it's a french calligraphy uh practice pad I think I got about eight of those books a while back at a flea market, and it's beautifully aged. So I've just cut that up and put in there as well. So you've got a nice little journal there, and then aren't those just beautiful images? And then over here, 
I've made um, two more pockets and just layered up. Now this is uh, the faux postage um, stamp kit that Stephanie's got, and these are the, uh, this is the rose one. So, <clears throat> so yeah, actually there may be five or six. I, I absolutely love her kit. So <laughs> there's a lot I've combined, but um, they all work so well together and. Just beautiful projects on their own, but then when you combine them together, I thought they really suited this style journal. So this flips over, and I had a tiny envelope um, that I've just made this little tag and then attached it with a brad, so that opens up. And then inside here, <clears throat> this is a index, one of those big jumbo index cards that I've tea dyed, and then I just came back and rounded it and did a little stamp on there. So more journaling space again. And I love how that looks when that's closed. It's just beautiful. So over here, um, this is the other little page I've made. And again, more <clears throat> bits of ephemera from the collection. And then here I just turned it into a uh, tag that I've stamped on and then distressed it. <clears throat> Excuse me, some crinkled up uh, seam binding ribbon. I love roses. I think you guys probably know that by now because I do always seem to pull roses back into my journals. <laughs> um, another, I believe this is from the ephemera. <clears throat> it's, I think she's got two big ephemera kits, so you know you'd have to really look which one. I've got one of them from her. Um, shop. So over here this is another little glassine bag and I've just attached that to a um, envelope so you've got this place for adding things and then um, if I'm not mistaken I think well I don't know. I don't know if this is from my porch print or another design from my stash. I'm not too sure, but I like that. I like the way that um, looks when it's tucked into the pocket. And then here I've just added some in Irish uh, linen thread and then a little um, fake key. And then that's the back of the journal. These are hard, you know, chipboard covers um, that I've covered. And then to close it, I've got the little hitch post, and then I've just made a little double um, bow there. So there she is. She is ready for a new home. And um, so if you're interested, you can check out my shop. I'll put the link below for that. But um, yeah, I don't know, guys, what I'm going to be working on next. I'm, uh, I don't really have a plan yet. I'm just trying to get back into the swing of uh, working because... Last week was, um, yeah, a very, very unproductive week, but, excuse me, I needed a sip of tea, um, but we had family in all week, so um, yeah, my time was just taken up, you know, trying to, to deal with all of that, so I hope everybody is uh, doing well. I don't know what it's like for you guys. It's starting to feel like autumn here. And I love that. I'm super excited. I was a little bit disappointed when the weatherman said, oh, we're going to have some sunshine later in the week. And I thought, no, no, no. <laughs> I really want it to turn cold, and I want the leaves to turn color. <laughs> so I'm probably going against everybody else in the UK at the moment because I am so looking forward to uh, autumn and winter. I cannot wait. So... Anyways, guys, I'm going to go because I need to get some things done, but thank you so much for stopping by today, and I hope I will see you guys here soon. Take care. Bye.